Hi everyone, welcome to the Daily 15 with Pastor Jessica. We're going to get straight into the Word of God, praise the Lord. And if you've joined us Monday through Friday, you know that we love the Bible and that the Bible is the absolute truth, amen. The Bible is the truth, say that with me. The Bible is the truth. Again, the Bible is the truth. If you don't have your Bible, you need to run and, run and grab it because we go into it every single time we're on the daily 15. I want you to put your hand on your heart and I want you to say with this with me. Say, I love the Bible. Say it again. I love the Bible. Again, I love the Bible. Good. And if we love the Bible, then we love the truth. Amen. So say, I love the truth. Again, I love the truth. Awesome. Now let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this time. We love you. We love the word of God. We love the truth. We love it. We love it, love it, love it. And we purpose not just to hear the word, but to actually do the word of God. You are number one. We love you. Holy Spirit, lead us into all the truth today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord. So let's just review real quick. If you're in Rising Oaks Children's at the Oak Center, you know that we go over this almost every single time we meet together. And if you're in the Daily 15, we're learning this together also. Amen. So the Bible has two main parts, the Old Testament and the what? Correct, the New Testament. The Old Testament is the beginning part. The New Testament is the second half. Amen. And then we've been learning. There's four Gospels, remember? Say it with me. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Good. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Again, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Awesome. And today, we're, we're going to go into the New Testament, to the book of John, okay? Let's go to John. John, John, John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John chapter 3 and verse 16. We've been learning more and more about the Holy Spirit, and we are going to continue on that. I asked Abigail to teach the lesson tomorrow, and she's going to be teaching us more about the Holy Spirit. Say that with me, the Holy Spirit. Awesome. But today we're going to be looking at um, John chapter 3 and verse 16. And this is what this verse says. For God so loved the world. Who loved the world? God. For God so loved the world, and that's you, that's everyone, that he gave, so God loved, so what did he do? He gave his only begotten son, because God loved the world so much, he gave who? His only begotten son, who is Jesus, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So whoever shall believe in Jesus shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Now, if we go over to Romans, so we're in John. Now, just go a couple books over. We're going to go to Romans chapter 10, okay? Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 says this, that if you, who? You and me. If you confess with your mouth, point to your mouth, with say with my mouth, with my mouth, Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart, put your hand in your, on your heart and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. So when will you be saved? According to the word of God, when you confess with your mouth, Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. So believing I mean, confessing with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Praise the Lord. And if you go a little bit further down, verse 13, it says, For whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. It says, another translation, the Amplified Classic says, Everyone who believes, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So that's anybody and everyone. It's everybody's choice, okay? The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Every single person needs a Savior, and His name is Jesus. He is the only Savior. The Bible says that 
Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. The Bible says in the book of Acts, there's only one name under heaven in which man must be saved. Only one, and that is the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And sin separates us from God. And so we need to turn from sin and say, I don't want to live a life of sin. And sin is disobedience to God. Okay, any kind of disobedience to God. That's why every single one of us have sinned. And so we need a savior. And what what was the price that was paid for our sin? The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of eternal life is through Jesus Christ. The, The price that was paid was Jesus came and he died on the cross. He shed his blood and that blood gives us forgiveness from our sins. He paid the price. He bled for the forgiveness of our sins. He bled, he died, but he didn't stay dead. After three days, he rose from the dead. He conquered sin, hell, and the grave. He rose from the dead. Jesus is alive. He is King of Kings and he is Lord of Lords. Now he sits at the right hand of the Father, ever making intercession for us. But one day, very soon, he's coming back again. He is King. He will always be King. He, it's Nobody's going to vote any other King in because he is King of Kings. There's no other King higher than him. He is Lord of Lords. There is no other Lord higher than him. He is, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is Savior. If you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's a free gift to you. You don't try to get good and then receive Jesus. The Bible says not one of us is good. It's because of him. I am what I am because of him. I have goodness in me because he is in me, because the Holy Spirit is in me. So we need him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he will forgive you of your sins and he will come in and you will never be the same. And so we're going to do what the Bible says. If you, as I spoke, if in your heart, you know, yes, I believe that. Yes, I need a savior and I want forgiveness of my sins. I want to be connected to father God. I want to go to heaven. I want to live for God. Amen. Then the Bible says, when we confess Jesus as Lord, amen, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So let's pray this prayer together, okay? It's called the prayer, oftentimes it's coined as the prayer of salvation, okay? So let's pray this together if that is you. And maybe you've prayed this before and you're a believer in Jesus, but you have not been walking with him and you need to recommit your life to him. In this day of time, you need to do it. You can't wait. The world is getting darker and darker, but the church is getting brighter and brighter and stronger and stronger. And we're going to, you're, and the church is, if you join the body of Christ, you're part of this. You're going to be able to help many, many people and be a blessing to them as the world is just not such a good place. But when you're born again, you're in this world, but you're not of this world. But we come into the world to be a blessing, to share Jesus, to share the gospel, to bring, to Uh, bring the word of healing to people, the word of victory to people, the word of faith to people, and make disciples. Amen. So let's pray this together, if that's you. Close your eyes and say this with me. Say, Father God, I believe in Jesus. I ask you for the forgiveness of my sins. I believe Jesus came, he died, he shed his blood for the forgiveness of my sin. He rose from the dead. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are alive. Jesus, you are Savior. I believe that in my heart. 
and I confess it with my mouth. Jesus, I make you my Lord and my Savior and my Master. I turn from sin and I turn to you. Thank you for saving me. Take my life and do something powerful with it. Make me bold to preach your gospel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give me a hunger for the things of God. Hallelujah. You are number one in my life. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Only what you think. And you love me. You are for me. So who can be against me? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's powerful. Well, his presence is here. And I'm sure you're sensing if you are open to it and you and you did pray that prayer with me, his presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit is with you right now. Hallelujah. Continue to get into the word of God. Be discipled so that you can hear the word of God and do the word of God. And you'll become stronger in the things of God. Find a strong local church that you can be a part in, that you can get planted in, that you can get plugged into. And you can use the giftings because there's giftings on the inside of you. There are that are eternal giftings that God has given you that, are, that that he gave you to be a blessing in this earth. So learn more and more in who you are in Christ. Amen. So find a church, find a Holy Ghost filled, um, unashamed, love the truth, love the Bible, love people. Amen. And if you are in the Silver City area and you don't have a local church, Praise the Lord, you are invited to the Oak Center. God is doing powerful things there. He's growing uh, a strong local church at the Oak Center who are people that love God, that love the truth, that love the Word of God, that are unashamed of the Word of God and are growing in their identity in Christ and going and getting the gospel to people. Amen. So it's the Oak Center. And it's at, um, it's downtown Sever Silver City. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And the, our website is theoakcenter.org. Amen. Well, we love you. We bless you. And we'll see you tomorrow. It will be Abigail teaching. So it's going to be very, very wonderful. Very, very powerful. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Bless you.